I found a really cool gadget at Home Depot while shopping for house plants. I picked up this petonia plant and discovered it comes in a self-watering pot. I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. It has an outer reservoir container that holds water and an inner soil container that sits suspended above it. But what really caught my eye was this rope hanging out of the bottom. I did some research and found out it's called capillary watering wet cord. Its job is to pull water from the bottom reservoir into the soil using capillary action. There's also a little window on the side so that you can see the water level. If this works, it's an awesome idea because small plants like these usually need watering every two or three days. Since the reservoir holds one cup of water, I'd expect to only need to refill it about once a week. By the way, I'm Tim, an electrical engineer who applies engineering techniques to gardening and agriculture. I want to run an experiment to see if the system actually works and maintains a good moisture level. To do that, I'm going to use a BH400 soil moisture sensor and a Veggie Hub to read the sensor and send the data over Wi-Fi to VeggieCloud.com where it will be stored. I'll set up the hub to take a moisture reading every four hours for the next seven days. The VH400 sensor is waterproof, rugged, and won't corrode. So it's a great tool for this test. I've filled the reservoir to 100% on the window, and now we just have to wait for the results to come in. I placed the pot and the soil moisture sensor system under this grow light and ran the experiment for almost two weeks. The soil moisture results were surprisingly good. Let me bring up Veggie Cloud and show you the graphs of the soil moisture over the last two weeks. As you can see, over the last two weeks, the soil moisture has linearly decreased from nearly 70% down to 8% VWC. This spike here is where I watered it yesterday so it wouldn't die. The ideal moisture range for potting soil is 20 to 40%. You can see that the soil stayed sufficiently wet for 12 days. The reservoir was depleted after four days and then the soil continued to dry out. As I mentioned, my experience with small potted plants like this is that you would normally have to water them at least every three days. The reservoir and water wick have quadrupled this time. I personally like to water my plants once a week on Sundays as a scheduled chore, so this type of pot will definitely make my life easier. Another interesting observation is that the soil moisture was too high for the first four days. When the soil moisture is too high, it can rot the roots and deprive them of oxygen. My recommendation to fix this problem would be use a smaller water wick for a plant of this size. I want to show you one last cool thing that I did. I set up a time-lapse camera to take pictures of the watering wick to see it transport water over a period of 12 hours. Lastly, if you're interested in trying out water wicks in your own plants, I've got some spare wick that I can send you. Just contact me at the link below and I'll send you a piece if you cover the shipping costs. Check out Vegetronics.com for cool gardening gadgets and automation ideas. Thanks for watching.